Now you may say, okay, chem guy, that oxidation number stuff, I understand that, I get it, but uh, is there another way to balance this reaction successfully without using those numbers and stuff? Okay, there is. Now that doesn't mean that, that this method, which sometimes I do prefer, it doesn't mean it takes the place of understanding oxidation numbers because you may be just asked in a question, hey, what substance here in this reaction, it's always in the reactant side, what's undergoing oxidation? By using oxidation numbers, you can easily determine something that's undergoing oxidation or reduction. But this is called the half reaction method, where you break this equation down into two half reactions and then you build your own half reactions. Now watch how this is done. The rules are, as we go through, I will I'll explain. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to take two principal chemicals in here and break them down into half reactions. Well, look at, look at this MN. We know that MnO4 negative here has to somehow turn into uh, MN2 positive. So we write MnO4 negative turns into MN2 positive. Uh, hydrogen and oxygen are not necessarily the principles in any reaction. It's the other elements that look kind of different from reaction to reaction that we actually split up. Fe has to turn from 2 positive to 3 positive. With that, we've got two half reactions that we're going to add together to get this net reaction. We are. But it doesn't look like, well, where, where is this going to go? Is this going to go in this one? Is this going to go in this one? No, it's okay. You make your own. Watch how you do that. When you need oxygen, you add water. When you need hydrogen, you add H positive. And then, in order to balance the charges, you add electrons. So follow those three rules and everything works out great. Here's how it goes. I have a half reaction here that doesn't have oxygens on this side. When you need oxygen, add water. Oh yeah, but wait a minute, there's four O's here. We're going to put four H2O's in front. And now you've got the oxygens balanced. Oh yeah, okay. Well, now I've got hydrogens on this side, but none over here. When you need hydrogen, add H positive. Okay, add H positive. Oh yeah, get it? Okay. Now, you've got to balance with charges. One negative here. Uh-oh, but there isn't one negative here. There's eight H's. Whoops! <laughs> you gotta put an eight there. You gotta be careful. You gotta go through this and make sure that you catch yourself, like I just did, in terms of the number of atoms you have all the time. Now, that's eight positives and one negative is seven positives on the reactant side, but only two positives here on the product side. So what do you do? You actually have to add negatives. To which side? To this side over here. And if you add five negatives, Five negatives, six negatives, eight positives makes two positive total on this side, two positive total on this side. So just be careful, do that, and you'll get it. Two positives here, three positives here. You don't have to add hydrogens or oxygens. What do you do? Well, we add one electron here. Hey, we're ready to add them together. But look at, just like we discovered with the oxidation number balancing of this, you've got one electron here and five here. And so you take this whole half reaction and you multiply it by five. So you can have five electrons here, canceling five there. Electrons have to cancel out for the net reaction completely. And then, of course, you get the eight. Well, when we add these two reactions together, we're going to get the eight in front here, the five here, the five here, and the four here that we did in our last example. So this is a reduction half reaction, oxidation half reaction. The two are added together to give you this net redox reaction. So let's practice another one. But now we have to balance in a base.